The fat controller sat in his office and listened. Oh, what a nuisance passengers are. How can I possibly work with all this noise? Yes, what is it? Eh, uh, there's trouble in the shed, sir. Henry is sulking. There is no train. And the passengers are saying that this is a bad railway. Indeed, we cannot allow that. Now, will you quieten the passengers, please? And I will go and speak to Henry. Now, come along, Henry. It's time your train was ready. Henry's not going, and neither are James or I. We won't shunt like little tank engines. We're important tender engines. You fetch our coaches and we will pull them. Tender engines don't shunt. Oh, indeed. Engines on my railway do as they're told. Edward was shunting. I say, Edward, leave those tracks, will you please? I want you to push coaches for me in the yard. Thank you, sir. That will be a nice change. That's a good engine. Off you go, then. So Edward found coaches with the three engines, and that day the trains ran as usual. But when the fat controller came next morning, Edward looked unhappy. Why, bless me, what a noise! They all hiss me, sir. They say tender engines don't shunt, and last night they said I have black wheels. I haven't, have I, sir? No, Edward, of course you haven't. You've got nice blue ones. And I'm proud of you. Tender engines do shunt. But all the same, you'd be happier in your own yard. Hmm, we need a tank engine here. And the fat controller went to an engine workshop and saw all sorts of engines.
last, he saw a smart little green engine. That's the one. I say there, if I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir, yes, sir. That's a good engine. I'll call you, um, Percy. Yes, Percy. Do you like that, Percy? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Edward, here's Percy. Will you show him everything? Percy soon learned what he had to do, and they had a happy afternoon. hear them in the workshop. You have to wish loudly to make yourself heard. morning, Thomas arrived. Hello, Edward. The fact controller sent for me. I expect he wants help. Here he comes. Well done, Thomas. You have been quick. Now listen, Henry, Gordon and James are sulking. They say they won't shunt like common tank engines, so I've shut them up, and I want you to run the line. Common tank engines, indeed. We'll show them. And Percy here will help too. Oh, sir, yes, sir, please, sir.
were fewer trains, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew the three other engines were having a less room. Henry, Gordon and James stayed shut in the shed and were cold, lonely and miserable. They wished now they hadn't been so silly.